Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear To intertwine Your heart of gold so pure Divine and I Lost my soul I have my Soda Stream lemonade, and then I have my meat and cheese snack pack that I always pack. I don't really want to go to work today because it is donuts and coffee day at work. So work is bringing in donuts and coffee, and who does not like a donut? It's hard when it's in your face. When it's not in your face, it's not hard. But my husband said, because I told him that, so we've also packed some peanuts. And he packed me one of the Elevation um, chocolate caramel crunch bars, I think they are. I don't know. I'll have to see what it is. It's the chocolate caramel something or other. He said he put it right on top. Let's see. Okay. Caramel Double Chocolate Crunch by Elevation. 
So I have that to kind of help combat the donuts. I've been doing good and I don't want to sabotage myself by eating donuts. Because I don't think I could just eat one and be done with it. Maybe I can't, but I'm not going to. I'm, my goal is to not eat any, zero. A couple weeks ago, somebody had daylight donuts at work and I could walk right past them and be done with it. But they were in a different spot. These are gonna be back in the break room where I'm not always in the break room with other people. And that's when I tend to sneak a bite. It's when there's nobody around to see me and it's like, they don't even care. Nobody cares. The only person I hurt when I do that is myself, and I can see myself at all times. So it's kind of a funny thing that I do to myself. Like, if nobody sees me eat it, they can't. Did I really eat it? <laughs> you know? Is that funny how you do that? And yet the only person that I have to be accountable for and to is myself. So it's kind of a stupid thing to do it like that. So are you seeing this as I'm turning my wheel and stuff? I am wrapping my steering wheel. I started it this morning. Kind of a weird time to start it, I know. I did not track yesterday. We got up. I had my Walmart delivery pickup, which the one thing I needed was dog food and they were out of it. So then I ended up having to go into Walmart to get Miss Finley her doggy food. I'm like, did you substitute it? She's like, no. I was like, well, why not? She's like, I don't know why they didn't. You know, it's not her. And I was like, no, I'm, and she goes, and I was like, it's fine. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, it's fine. I was just wondering. And then when I went back to look at all the dog food and stuff, I know why they didn't substitute it. They didn't have that brand. So anyway, I had to go into Walmart anyway and get doggy food, which I don't like to go into Walmart and get dog food. It's almost like shopping for food for myself because I have to read every label very picky. I mean, I, she doesn't get like super expensive dog food, but I still read the label. I want to know why, you know, what the ingredients are in it. There's certain things I don't think my dog needs as far as ingredients go. So I, it takes, it took me like 45 minutes to pick up dog food because the brand I normally have, they had no flavors in it. So, normally I, you know, beef chicken or salmon, and they had none of them, so I ordered the beef. They didn't have that, so I thought, well, I'll just run in and grab chicken. They didn't have that. They didn't have the salmon, so then I had to try to find a different brand, and that just takes me forever. So. I hope you guys all have a very wonderful day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.